How's it going, YouTube? And welcome to Pal World. It exists, and it's finally here. The Pokemon with Gun Games. I will be honest with you, I have already played quite a bit of this with uh, some real-life friends, but I am now ready to create a new world. Don't hate me, we're going with the subscribe world name. I'll turn multiplayer on. I don't know if I'm going to be having guests during the playthrough. And I also want to keep my settings on normal. I know that there's some custom settings that we can play around with, but I want to keep it vanilla, at least in the beginning. Maybe we'll tweak things later, but I don't mind the grind, and I think normal is a good spot. So I don't want to do the default girl, and I don't really know what I'm feeling. I think I'm just going to start with this guy and edit from there. So let's see. Let's do something a little silly. All right, and here we have Sunburnt Sammy. He's a little red. And uh, he's got some big arms and uh, tiny legs. Yeah, I like him. I like him. We're keeping it. Uh, start game. And we wake up on a beach. <laughs> One thing I do want to say at the start of the playthrough is uh, I've seen a lot of people complaining about this being like an asset flip game. And I don't play enough of these type of games to really recognize all the assets that were flipped. But I uh, definitely think that this is a pretty enough game. I don't hate anything. And the pals are really nice looking. So everyone spawns up here for the start. And Sunbert Sammy is going to start his adventure. So we have a bit of a tutorial where we have to uh, pick up some branches to start. Uh, I'm gonna run over to this lady, get some free wood from her. Uh, this island's a living hill. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damned pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. So, now we've got some wood. I'm gonna go punch a tree over here. Or pick up these. Okay. So, during my playthrough with friends the starter base we built was right down there next to that bridge i think yeah right that open area so i don't know if i want to do that or if i want to go somewhere new and exciting but let's get some more wood get the free easy first level and i'm gonna go punch a rock i don't think that one could be farmed so things are definitely slow. It's a normal survival game. I do really like the survival aspects to this game. I've, I, I'm, I'm honestly just all around enjoying this game a lot. So we'll get our first couple items. All right, I think that's enough. So let's see, B menu. Let's just slap it down right here, get it built. See, I will make the pickaxe to start. Okay. Slap these rocks, and we'll get ready to go. And now we're crafting our first pal spheres. And that gave me a level up. So I need to look at the survival guide, which is here. This gives you most of the information you actually need about playing the games. It's pretty nice. And we'll get a little bit more tech. So here's the tech tree. I kind of showed it for a second there. I'm going to grab some of the stuff that I know I need early. We'll craft a bow soon. I need the bed. I need that bed. And I need the cloth. I'll get the arrows next time I level up. So let's go whack this lamb ball a few times. And let's capture our first pal. So... Oh. oh, I never grabbed the spears. Where'd that guy go? 100% rate. We'll take it. And his friend is angry. There we go. 100%. Just getting enough basic materials to where I'm like mostly filled up so I can start some base building immediately. 
definitely need the fiber from punching tree or yeah, punching trees. Chopping down trees. Alright, we are full. Let's go find a nice flat spot to build. I'm gonna ignore most of this area for now. Obviously, we'll come back for some uh, exploration and gathering. But I wanna I wanna build somewhere different than I played when I played with my friends. Because this is where we built. Uh, it was kind of nice having one ore deposit right nearby, but I was we were having issues with our pals uh, getting stuck in the water here and not climbing up, not pathing to climb up. I did eventually manage to build a staircase to get them out of there, but it, the game doesn't really like letting you build in the water. It was a little finicky. Yep. So I'm going to try finding somewhere different to do this. And thankfully, this game has almost no fall damage. You have to fall from insanely high heights to take damage. I don't mind the lack of fall damage. Yep. And I guess for starters, we could slap down over here. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Because he won't ever aggro us. And then we've got more ore here. Because it's nice being near the ore for the starter base, for sure. <laughs> that made me overweight. Yeah, let's just slap it down here. All right, build menu, pal box. Too close to boss facility. Oh yeah, this was a, a change that they recently made. You can't build too close to the alpha spawns. So maybe if I back up, it'll be fine. Okay. I don't know how I feel about having to be over here. I'm just trying to do something different than most people are probably doing because you know you kind of just naturally build up there there's a few good flat spots so we got our first well i never got the fast travel up there did i i skipped it oops that'll be fine i'll run back at some point i think i'm gonna build right here do we have ore deposits nearby no but it won't be that big of a deal i guess i could keep looking here i'm gonna I no, I don't know. I feel so indecisive. We just started. All right, so I think I'm just gonna build up here again, but a little bit further away from the water. We've got some dinosaurs here. Uh, they will definitely one-shot me if I attempt to kill them. So we're gonna ignore them, and we're gonna place down our pal box. Uh, last time I did it over against the water. I think I'll just do it over here this time. Maybe prevent them from. Uh, falling into the water. Um, yeah, like, I guess this is as good as any place. Uh, let's throw out our land ball. He'll help us build. Don't be coming too close to my land ball. Oh, what, what are you doing up here? I have never seen him walk this far up the hill. Bruh. Can you guys stop crowding my pal box, please? Wait, you like it? I don't know, that weirds me out. Yeah, just move along, guys. Please, please move along. Okay, so... For those of you, this is the first time you're watching this game. Basically, we just placed down... This is like our base marker, but it's also where you store your guys. So I'm going to assign one to the base. And he can go and pick up things and build things for me and we have yep. this see that blue line right there maybe it's purple I'm, i am colorblind yep. uh this is the level or the radius of my base where i can build so i'm outside inside things so in order to basically progress in this game you have to level up the base and we start by deploying a pal, which we already did, that land ball right there. And now we got to build a chest. So, just a wooden chest. And I'll slap it down right here. My dude will run over to help me build. Adorable. And we can drop off some of this stuff. So one thing that is really great about this game is whatever you 
have in storage, you can use as long as you're within that radius. So we'll upgrade, wrong button. We'll base upgrade. And now we need to build another workbench and a bed for that dude. Or no, actually, that was a bed for me. I am going to slap down a bed for him, because otherwise he will get stressed. And I guess over here is as good a place as any. He'll build that for me. And let's see. I need to level up once more to get a feed box, so that way he won't go hungry and die. So, okay. Let's take a quick look at the pal deck. We've caught a lamb ball, and for the first 10 you catch, there's a XP bonus. And we've seen a few others, but we will explore that more yep. soon. So let's put down our starter workbench over here. It will be fine. It's a little crooked, but it'll be fine. And let's make a few more of these spheres. I think he will actually craft those for me. And I can focus on... What was the next thing I needed to do? Oh yeah, build a bed for myself. And the way we do that is by getting down a wooden foundation. Let's have our little, little hut right here. I don't have much wood, so we'll keep it simple for now. And this right here is the bare minimum. I, obviously not this piece. I'll get rid of it. Uh, this right here is the bare minimum you need to be considered a house that a bed is allowed to be in. So uh, we need more wood. So I do think that the stairs are really important for the pal's pathfinding. Like they might have a little trouble. If I can jump up, they can jump up. But yeah, sometimes it's just good to have stairs everywhere. Yep. Yep. All right, now it is time to go level up. So we will leave our dudes here. They'll get hungry over time, but we will hopefully not have to worry about that. Because we're going to level up and get him a food bed. And freaking mammoth just came from my base. It's kind of freaking me out. Let's go get a couple cats. The cats are actually quite nice because they, uh, they can mine. So we will smack him a few times. Yeah, 100% rate. That's what we like. We'll get our first chickpea. Our first Chick-fil-A chicken. And another lamb. Alright, and now the tutorial is telling me that we leveled up and we need to strengthen our stats. So, the way I've been kind of thinking the, to do this... So if you look at attack, it only goes up by 2%. That's pretty terrible. You get guns eventually. I think ignoring attack is completely what we do. Work speed I thought was good, but then I learned that the pals, eventually it's just all automated by your little pal dudes. So I'm not gonna get any work speed. So I, what I like to do is one point here in HP, because it goes up by 100. One point in stamina, it only goes up by 10%. But it's still pretty good. Uh, you do a lot of running around and stuff. And then two points into weight. So basically one, one, two. Every single time I get four levels. I've kind of been putting it like that. So I think that that's what I'm going to stick to. The weight is quite nice. Because eventually you reach a point of getting tools that mine and chop down trees super fast. And being over encumbered. Is pretty dang quick in this game. And we'll get one more land ball. What's up, dude? I think I have another sphere. I've got three more spheres. There we go. That's the level up I needed. And I'm going to get the last uh, land ball I need for the tutorial. Alright. So let's look at our party, see if any of these dudes are good. So this guy is a coward, which is lowering, lowering his attack. Oh, and also increasing his attack. So he has normal attack, but negative 10 defense. The chickpea doesn't have any skills. Lamb ball, no skills. 
Oh, we got a serious dude. This is a good work base guy. He likes to work. So we'll put him to work. Yep. Okay, we've gotten two levels up. We've gotten two extra levels, so we need the feed box for sure. And the cloth outfit is nice. Stone spear isn't too bad. We do need those arrows still. With the shield, the barrier plantation, and the normal parachute. And that's all my technology points. So let's see. We need the, the feed box. We'll put the feed box over here. All right, there seems fine. And then the berry plantation. Well, I could put this closer to the water. It's kind of nice having it near the feed box because then they have to travel with it less. So I guess like right here in the middle of the base will be fine. And that's an upgrade. So now we need another straw pal bed. And right there seems fine. Okay, so I'm kind of just zipping through this early game stuff because, like I said, I already did it. Why does he have a minor injury? Oh, the minor injury just healed, I think? So I can't remember what gathering is. is no, I need plant. Okay, gathering means he will gather the berries. And then I need a cat to move them. I guess we'll just put this cat as a base buddy. We'll use the chicken eventually, and it is officially becoming dark, so let's give them some food so they don't go starving. I guess I don't have much food. So we will plant some berries for these dudes. And you can see the cat over there, he's mining some stone, and then the lamb balls will gather the stone and put them in my uh, uh, chest over there. And when we're done planting, you have to then water. Eventually this gets automated, but it's really slow in the beginning. We'll get it done. And it's officially dark enough that I am cold, so we're gonna have to go to bed soon. Let's finish this watering though. Good night guys, sleepy time. Okay, there we go, so that'll grow. And the funny thing is, <laughs> with just having a roof over me, this protects me from the cold, and I think it's really funny. <sighs> Good night, Sunbert Sammy. Time to be back in the sun, Sunbert Sammy. So yeah, that's going to grow on its own. And then uh, once I get a chicken down, he will... I'm ready to upgrade and put a chicken down. So let's put the chicken down. He will gather when that's done growing. And we've got a cat to move things. So what, what did I need to do next? Campfire. And four pals, okay. So all we need to build is a campfire for the next upgrade, which we should already know how to do, but we're already out of wood again. The early game struggle, and I think my axe is about to break. So we can just put our campfire close-ish to the feed box. Boom, now I can cook up some food. So first we'll cook the uh, dead lamb balls. And we will feed it to our dudes. I like to try to not think about cannibalism, but it's definitely a thing in this game. Gotta collect it. And there we go. A little bit of food for them. What else can we cook? A little bit of chicken chicken kebabs and see the chicken harvested and then these guys will carry it to their feed box automatically then grab it and one thing I did notice during did I not grab it I don't know where the grill oh I must I moved it over okay so yeah I uh, one thing I noticed <clears throat> is that they always eat from left to right. So if you cook them food and, like, you know, they bring berries over, you leave berries in this spot, they'll never eat the cooked food, and the cooked food will just despawn, and the cooked food's better. 
So I like to move the berries all the way to the right, let them eat the cooked food first before it despawns, and then, you know, they'll have the berries for when they run out of cooked food. Oh, it was an egg. Okay, egg is moved over. And we could cook some berries, but I don't want to sit here cooking the whole time. So let's move out and start our day. I will eat myself. And our axe is almost broken, so let's see. Do we ha Can we build a repair bench yet? We can. Put our repair bench... It's right here? No. Let's, let's put our benches close to each other. Repair bench would be fine right here. One more thing I'll tell you guys is it's definitely good to have a gap between your benches because if you try making a line of benches, the ones in the middle become really hard to click on. And we will make some cloth. One of our dudes will do it. And there we go. Our stone axe just broke. We should be able to repair it right here, though. Yep, there we go. Okay. We'll drop off what we've got, and let's go on a bit of an adventure. Maybe we make some more spheres first. <laughs> so these little stones, you find them near water most. Uh, this has the Paldium Fragments, which are required for a lot of stuff, actually. It's nice to get some of these early. And eventually, you'll be able to manufacture them, but you need a Water Pal for that. And I guess we do have a level up, so let's get our second uh, weight capacity increase. And we need a level up, okay. Alright, here's level 5. And this is when things start to get expensive. So we need the uh, gear workbench and the statue of power. But we can deploy one more lamb ball. And... I guess now it's time to go get some levels. Because we can't even build the things that we need to build yet. We gotta hit level 6. But I do need more spheres. So let's get those crafted. Looks like I need one more bed. I need wood for that. The one nice thing about having the cat uh, on the base early is see how they keep transporting stone for me? I pretty much just need to chop wood in the beginning. It is really weird to see the Dinosums day one. My uh, first little play of this game. I didn't see one of those until much later. Uh, everybody will be happy now. I think they have enough food to last them at least during my expedition. Yeah, they'll be fine. So I'll repair my stuff and let's go. Yep. So what we want for sure is more of the lamb balls. Get our 10 for that XP boost. kitty too. Or I kill the kitty on accident. Okay. That'll happen. Uh, some t like, this this game has crits in it, I believe, and it also has, like, the ability to uh, get headshots. And sometimes it's a little rough. One more hit. 92%. Come on. Stay in the ball. Get over here. <laughs> Chasing this cat halfway around the world and I can't even hit it. There we go. Yeah. 
think that one's not mine. Not enough to level up yet. Okay, we, we've got a lot of catching to do, but I need more spheres. Alright, and I automatically put the clothes on. Not as sunburnt now. Just, just my big red head. I'll let one of them work on that. My little community is coming together quite quickly. And my bow's done. Let's get some arrows going. And we might as well chop down the rest of the stone while we wait for our next round. Alright, I did a little base maintenance, and now I'm ready to go on an adventure. So what I think I'm gonna do is run up and get the fast travel I forgot to grab, and then we'll fast travel down to down there and catch some of those pals. Do I have, okay, 12 spheres, I'll make it work. And there's the level up we needed. So we'll grab the tech points. I don't care about these yet. The ranch is nice later. And then we need these two for sure. And we might as well, if we got six points left, we'll get the logging and stone pit. And save our other two points for now. I'm kind of skipping the fire bow. That it, I don't feel like crafting it, and I don't have flame organs yet. And the regular bow is good enough for now. And our first journal. I haven't actually read these yet. I found a couple. As I explored around on foot. I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. I threw it without much thought, and the creature it landed near transformed into what seemed to be light, as though the sphere had absorbed it. Unbelievable, when I tried throwing the same sphere again, the creature reappeared from the light and stared at me with what seemed like an amicable expression. As I began to create a shelter to protect me from the elements, the creature astonishingly helped me. How useful. I wanted to deepen my connection with this living thing. So I decided to name its kind Pals. To match, I christened this land Palpagos Island. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of backstory for us. Alright. There is another free tech point. And did we talk to her? Yeah, we got wood from her already. Wow. I tried making graves for everyone at first, but when more than a hundred died, I gave up on the idea. You're telling me there were over a hundred people here with you? Here, ignorance leads to death, but there's a sliver of hope that had to be had if you managed to tame a pal. But not one of my comrades was able to accomplish that? Why are they useless? I, I did it in like 10 days. An ancient device? You should be able to make a pal sphere? What ancient device is she talking about? Probably that thing that I picked up at the very start of the game. The thing that told me towers are a key. Interesting. Yeah, that's level two. He can not survive a headshot. Really? I'm just out here killing cats and I feel a little bad about it. Get some berries. Yep. What level is that guy? Level two, let's go for a body shot. And it still killed him? So all those green little dots I know are important. I have to go get them eventually. And then there's the tutorial tower, or the, the end of the tutorial is by defeating that tower, I believe. I wonder if you're able to access that tree. More towers. So how many can I see right now? There's one. No clue what that is two, three, four, five towers. I wonder if that's all that are in the game right now or if there are more. 
So you can definitely go where the towers are. So that makes me think that you might be able to go to the big-ass world tree type of thing. That Yggdrasil. This game's version of it. Okay, can a level 3 survive a full hit? It cannot! Apparently my bow's too good. In a daydream. I don't think I caught any of these. Ooh. Oh, it's a level 6. This actually might be too rough. Is that enough? 64%? No. Come on, stay in, stay in, stay in. Yes! Let's see if we can get this friend. Wasting all my spears. Okay, let, hopefully this doesn't kill it. I'm gonna shoot it one more time. Just trying to shoot it in the legs. Okay. What does that put it up? 69%. Giggity. Yes. Okay, I didn't read this guy's pal deck's entry. I haven't even seen that yet. But my game thinks I have. Okay, so it puts those it is interested in to sleep and shows them an endless stream of happy dreams. Those who fall under its spell are never to wake up until death takes them. Damn! Okay. Statue of Power. My dude just can build, those, build that when they wake up. Uh oh, did my game bug? I'm not waking. Oh, I, I guess it's morning already. My dude didn't didn't feel like sleeping. Oh, my first uh, effigy. I forgot about this one. Okay, so this here, it's like a little little green statue that glows. Uh, collect life monk effigy and offer them to a statue of power to Im improve your ability to capture pals. So we just built our statue. There it is, the little Lucario or whatever. It, it looks like a Pokemon. It really does. You gotta admit it. Oh, there's the Hoot Crates. Or Hoot Crates. Hoot Crocotees. It's Hoocrates, isn't it? Not Hoot Crates. Hoocrates. That's funny. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so we can offer up our first life monk effigy and increase our capture rate i'm not sure like how much this actually improves like i could kind of notice it once i hit around level three i could feel the bonus uh that's not my daydream is it i only have one sphere left yep. I gotta level up from crafting. So I know we need the crusher. And then the daydream necklace is kind of good, but I haven't seen the leather yet. But we'll get it anyways. I guess we'll save our other five points. I'm not getting the bat. I never did craft a spear. A spear, did I? I need more wood. Always need more wood. Good things. Some of my trees respond. Yeah, I'll do some more base management, I'll get one more level, and then we're going to do one adventure before we end today's episode.
I guess we'll just put the PAL gear workbench over here near the PAL beds. They can build that. I don't know why they're bugged. But sometimes just doing that fixes it. No, none of them want to come and help build. I'll just have my current pal build it. It's not outside the ring. No, the ring's over there. Yeah, it's right next to my thing. I don't, I don't know. Yep, it's still an early access game. It has bugs. Petting the wrong one. Oh, I, I can't cancel out of this, can I? Oh, that canceled it. All right, let's cook some food. Yeah, why is that guy bugged? I don't know. We might need to restart the game, uh, but that's all right because we are pretty much hitting the amount of time I wanted to play for the first episode, anyways. So I'm gonna cook some food because my dude is hungry. And let it. Let's go. I've got some pal spheres. That'll finish while well, I'm cooking. So, yeah, we will go and run. Yeah, see, they're, they're willing to do that, but they won't build right now. I'm not sure what's going on. 32 arrows left. Oh, it must have been a sleeping bonus. Because that guy was level 3 and he didn't die to... He, it took two sh headshots to get him low. So there must be a sleeping bonus in this game. Yeah. Hang Gillet. That's the one I want. He can water crops for me. He's significantly tankier. Seventy-three. And he's mine. That was a crit. So I just need one of the grass boys, and then my uh, food production will be automated. We do want a fox sparks, though. I do very much enjoy the fox sparks. They are a very cute design. Seventy percent right. Come on, stay in, stay in. Yeah. I've only got nine arrows left. It's a bit concerning. Oop, okay. Yeah. There it is. I need to capture one of those. The Gamos. Did I talk to this kid yet? He gives me... You're a new face. Don't tell me. An outsider? Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pals? You can get extra XP by capturing up to 10 of the same kind you know. Pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this. It gives me some palladium. Ooh, a llama. Sorry, a malpaca. Grab the other journal, we'll read it in a second. Where'd the Gamos go? There he is. Five hours left. We got this. That's enough. I might need to smack him a few times with my uh, axe. Nope. Okay. Alright, so let's fast travel back to the base and get some pals out so we can automate food.
Oh, I, I don't know if I've showed the world map yet. So, the reason these are highlighted is because if you die, you can use them as other starting locations. Uh, I'm just kind of try to keep it, you know, normal exploration. I don't want to abuse dying and respawning somewhere else. Uh, so let's, uh, I think we're ready to upgrade the base. Yep, so we need a Crusher Stone Pit and Logging Site in the next episode. But let's, uh... Will this guy gather? He'll only plant. The cat does gather. So we'll get rid of the chicken. And we'll put one penguin out. He's cheery. And then the gamos out. So now, planting should be automated. Just need to put seeds near him so he can uh, use the seeds to plant. Put my eggs away, and I don't remember what else I was doing. Eggs in there. Might as well drop off most of what I've got. Yep. Once I level up, I can get the fire guy to automatically cook food for me, which would be nice. Oh, I guess we are ending today's episode with a raid. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get a level 4 Fox Sparks on my team. We'll get him out and ready to help us defend. I've got no arrows! This is terrible timing. And they're already here. Okay, my dudes are helping defend. I do want to try to capture one of these. Oh, yeah, okay, we got the first one. Did we get them both? Before they attack it. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I hit the wrong button. I hit E instead of uh, G to throw the spear. All right, that's fine. Uh, we got one of them. And these things, well, I hate their design. <laughs> like, definitely not a fan of their design. Uh, it's a diet lover muscle head abnormal. We will deploy it in place of one of these lamb balls. Yeah, it, this thing is this thing's questionable. Uh, someone had someone had a, a an opinion of this one. Yeah, I I don't know. It, it, little thirst trap Pokemon. It's worse than little bunny. So, that was the first raid you get. I'm pretty sure I've seen everybody get raided by that for the first time. The uh, Lavanders. Uh, let's read their pal dex entry. They are questionable. Uh, seeking a knight of love. It's always chasing someone around. At first, it only showed interest in other pals, but in recent years, even humans have become the target of its debauchery. Yeah, it, it's, uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but it drops mushrooms, cake, suspicious juice, and strange juice. Hmm, I don't know anything about those yet, but, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching this first episode of Pal World. I know I am hugely enjoying it. The game is silly, it's also dark, and kind of messed up at times, but... We're here. It should be fun. So thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.